Oh, good morning, y'all. So me and Kenzie are off on another adventure, and I do say adventure. We're here in Richmond, BC, and we're going to Capilato. So Capilato Suspension Bridge. Uh, I got my prosthetic leg on. It's still not fitting great, but I've read on the website there's no way you can do Capilano on a wheelchair or with crutches even. So I really wanted to experience this experience. <laughs> experience, experience, experience. So we're going to go do that today. So I'll drag you guys along. I'm going to wear the Bruzier camera and then I'm going to also bring a couple other cameras. So it should be a cool day. Uh, the temperature here in Richmond is 24 Celsius. So I'll put a conversion in the bloop bloop down below, but slight wind, but not crazy. I'm here in Grover. There's Grover. There's a tent in the back, back seat there. I even emailed them and talked to them. Unfortunately, there's no way I can do it in a wheelchair. So I just got to suck it up. So we just finished watching Amazing Race and we watched the bilateral amputee do most of the challenges so I figured you know what? Time to suck it up. There's the beautiful Kenzie. So she's been sleeping in today and we're off on this new adventure. So let's get going. DJ, can you please roll that intro? Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that's presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. Well, hey guys, so here we are at Capilano Suspension Bridge. Sorry, I got you on the chest cam because they don't allow selfies. So, cross. This is going to be a painful day, but I want to do it with Kenzie. So, we're going to try the best we can. According to the website, I can't use crutches. Nothing in your hands when you cross the bridge. So, we'll see what it's like. So here's the line getting into Capilano. Kenzie's never been here, so. So there's the prices there, guys. So an adult is $74, senior $69, student $61, youth is $44, and child is $26. So apparently because I'm disabled, I get a discount, but we'll find out. That's all prices in Canadian too. So I was right guys, um, because I'm disabled and can't do the entire park, I did get in free. So this is entering the park here. Hey guys, so we're up here at Capilano Suspension Bridge. Beautiful Kenzie's right here next to me. So thus far, I got to give them huge credit. I emailed Ben saying, can you do it in a wheelchair? I know it was a stupid question on the suspension bridge, but I thought I'd email in and they wrote back because I can't do the entire facility, which I know I can't. And... Um, they said you get in free and also your companion or your helper gets in free too so thus far it's been pretty good the it's got universal washrooms over here so it's really good i know it's going to be a tough day walking you can't do this in a wheelchair no crutches no nothing but i really want to do this with kenzie so let's get on with the adventure so we just got out of the washrooms <laughs> real life here this is us looking over the the 
over the bridge over here. So it's just like the name says, Capilano Suspension Bridge. So this is looking off the edge into the gully. It's Kenzie looking over. There's the people on the bridge over here. Pretty cool, huh, Kent? The old growth trees here are really, really cool. Do a pan left to right. Very, very cool. So this shows the history of Capilano Suspension Bridge. So the bridge started in 1888 by a guy named George McKay, who had a cabin on the other side of the canyon and built a bridge to get across. See that? There's my hand, and look how thick that thing is. So here's walking through the grounds. Um, we're going to go to the bridge just because I need to do it while I'm fresh, I think. So you can see that tourism is very loud and proud here at Capilano. entrance here okay so here we go so there's what the lineup looks like to get across the suspension bridge looks like we caught it on a slow day believe it or not and that's what the bridge looks like to start off of I think this is definitely gonna be a workout for me I'm dripping in sweat already hey everybody so we're just waiting to get on the bridge here Kenzie, you excited? Yeah. So here we go, guys. Getting on the suspension bridge. How's it feel, Kenz? It feels what? Does it? <laughs> very cool apparently i'll put a clip up here from chrome's video from van city van life but they do lights in the winter so there's lights on the trees so that's the angle going up fairly steep angle yep this is going to be a workout can you imagine they built this for a cabin on the other side? Just nuts. So I know the DGI is going to cover it up, but this bridge, how rocky is it, Ken? She's, <laughs> don't talk to me, I'm scared. So let's turn sideways and get the view. Can you imagine, guys? That was all built just for a guy's cabin. What? Very cool. Very cool. Oh, a nice wind coming through. Get a um, picture. I want to drop my phone. <laughs> Photo. Okay. Ready? This is definitely going to be a day. 
cool though. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not even scared, Becky. I got my eyes on you. Very, very cool. And you got no clue what I'm supposed to do. I can't help myself. Oh, so coming off the branch here. <sighs> Water. The elixir of life. Obviously, Cowboy Kenzie's not out today. What kind of ice cream are we getting? Ice cream? Chocolate tree top. Oh, it looks like it's in, not in cones. It's in a cup. Look at that, guys. 10 25 for ice cream. Chocolate tree top. It looks like it's got marshmallows on the top. Good way to cool down. Oh yeah, chocolate, marshmallows, chocolate chips. Looks like a mixture of life. Okay, what's the review on the ice cream? It's good. Rating? Kenzie rating? Ice cream rating? Like a five? A oh, it's not very good in the Kenzie rating. That's what the tree tops look like around us. Beautiful, beautiful spot, but mobility challenge people are going to have some issues. Well, hey there, guys. So, I guess I got my knee out of it. I failed you guys. I, I can't do the entire thing. I got across the bridge, took those shots across the bridge, and there's this suspension set. Um, I'll throw in the camera here. Sorry, my finger. There's a suspension through the trees. I don't know if you guys can see that. That I just can't do. I just, oh my God, my knees are burning and yeah. So Kenzie went and did it. She's gonna take some good shots and hopefully include it in this video for you guys. So there's Kenzie up there. Kenzie, wave. Okay, hi. I'm currently on the top of the bridge and then there's daddy. He's filming down there. <laughs> It is so cool. How is it? Good. No. It is so cool up here. Like you look down and there's so many people. It's so cool up here. Just for future daddy editing this. It's for you in the video. It is so cool up here. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. I'm currently on top of this country with daddy's right down there. Look down this little river. Yeah. You can see down there. I can't get a really good job of it, but it's so cool up here. You look down and it's just trees. It's so cool. Okay, I just got off the Spanish bridge and I cannot tell you how cool that was. It was like up in the trees, you see down. And over there is a little pond. And you like look right over it. I would try to get a picture of it, but I don't know if it turned out very well. It is just so gorgeous, and it's so cool out here. I can't believe it. I just can't stop saying the word cool. Amazing and spectacular. Like, not a very good shot of it, but it's so cool. Doing the suspension bridge is like, it's, the shaky's fine, but getting from one to the other is like, if you have mobility challenge like me, it's just, it's very tough. Oh, we should do that. But I can see why they gave the discount they did, and I really appreciate that. Like, I mean, they didn't definitely didn't have to. I definitely would have paid, but because they can't do the entire event, that's what they do for people, which is really really cool. I highly highly recommend um, them for this. If you guys can go to Capilano Suspension Bridge and give them a good review, that would be amazing. A little review goes a far ways. 
So the next thing we're going to do is the cliffs on the other side. So I'm going to save my energy for that so I can do the cliffs on the other side. So very, very cool day. It's, it's roasting out here. It's probably 26, 27 now in the sun. So it's like between that and I've, believe it or not, I've already emptied my liner of water. So for you guys that don't know us amps inside our, our liners, Sorry. Inside our liners there. These are our liners. Um, obviously, we sweat just like armpits. And the thing ends up filling up full of sweat, water. And you can literally, it's really, really gross. You can literally just pour it out. It's just so nasty. But every amp's got it. Unfortunately, it's just human. I'm sitting here on the ground in the middle of where people walk. But there's not really any seats to sit. Hey. So yeah, sitting here just trying to find somewhere in the shade to cool down, but incredible day. I just wish I could do the entire thing. I just, I can't do stairs. My knee, my knee, I should say, is just killing me and well, the socket just didn't fit right. So it's just, it's one of those things I could probably do it, but it would burn me out and I'd be, the rest of the week could be right off. It's going to be Stanley Park tomorrow, so I think I'll save my energy. So that's how steep it is, guys. It's fairly steep coming down here. I mean, there's there's good grab handles, but definitely, as much as they let you accessibility, I would say the accessibility is extremely low, probably a 4 out of 10. You can stay on the one side, though, and just roll around there, but... I mean, you come for the suspension bridge, so you kind of, you want to go, but that's what it looks like. All right, guys, there's the next one, walking along the, what do they call it, cliff skins or skywalk? That's what it looks like. I mean, we're, oh, sorry. Get my keys out of the way. We're way up here. And apparently, this is a slow day. Okay, so we're just entering the cliff walk. Can we just go straight in or? Awesome, thank you. So this is the cliff walk. Ooh, this is going to be fun. So if you're scared of stairs, this isn't the staircase for you. That's what you look like. Little prosthetics getting a workout today. Very cool. This is what underneath it looks like. The yeah. Green, um, it goes in, and then as it goes, the temperature down at night cools, and it splits the rock and it cracks it. It's crazy, the strength of Mother Nature. Yeah. It's just so strong. Ice cracking. So these are like those cracks right there from like the water, and they freeze and they crack it. Crazy. That's so cool. So. You amps out here, you better like stairs because this is a stair place. So that's what we're dangling with there. But I think, you know, like I said before, you got to pick and choose, pick and choose your battles and save your body for these days that you want to do stuff like this. Not everything can be accessible, but very, very cool. Being able to experience it with Kenzie is really cool. Wish my wife was here, but she's working, so. Very, very cool, if you guys can see that. Again, like I said before in the past, cameras don't serve things justice like this. There is lots of handles and it is fairly sturdy, so you, you can grab onto everything, but I still stick by my four out of 10 rating just for accessibility, because it's a tough one. Ten out of ten on the view. If you didn't hear that from Kenzie, but look at this. Just these bridges just tangled in Mother Nature.
It's just, you know, it's incredible on these hard, hard rocks that plants find a place and then they sprout and then they grow. And then you got these giant bolts holding it onto the wall. Oh, and then you got a tree. Kenzie's talking about this tree over here in front of us. That's just hanging onto the side of a cliff. So cool. And there's what the suspension bridge looks like in the background, guys. So that's what we went across. Can you know this water bottle? No problem. Hey guys, so I think I'm gonna call it here. What an incredible place. And like I said, I'd stick this to a four out of 10 for accessibility. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me and we'll see you on the next one.